Hello. Today I have a problem related to uh, thermal physics or heat, I should say, or more about uh, thermal expansion, I should say. So uh, we have a steel cylinder uh, has an aluminum alloy piston. So we have a steel cylinder. So this uh, red colored uh, thing shows the steel cylinder and uh, this uh, black color thing is the aluminum alloy piston. So it must be aluminum with something others. So it's an alloy piston. And at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, the internal diameter of the cylinder is exactly 10 centimeter. So uh, initially we have the initial temperature is theta 1 is equal to equal to 20 degrees Celsius. And at that time, the, the internal diameter of the cylinder, which is the steel cylinder, so is the diameter of the steel cylinder is equal to is equal to 10 centimeter 10 centimeter uh, there is an all around clearance of 0.05 millimeter between the piston and the cylinder wall that means here we have a clearance of we have a clearance of 0.05 millimeter so everywhere it is 0.05 millimeter so 0.005 0 0.05 millimeter so let us me write here as clearance equal to clearance is equal to 0 0.05 millimeter which i can write as write as 0 0.005 centimeter clearance so uh, this uh, clearance is when uh, the temperature is around 20 degrees celsius but when it is uh, something higher something higher as you can see from here, the expensivity of aluminum is high and the expensivity of steel is less. So when we heat it, the aluminum expands more. And, and as it goes on, there is a certain temperature theta 1 or theta 2 or something like that, where the uh, piston and the cylinder fits exactly. So this diagram shows that exact fitting condition. So here let us see, this has expanded and this thing has also expanded. But what happens is the expansion of this thing is more than the expansion of the ring. So that's why there goes the exact fit. So we have to find at what temperature will the fit be perfect. So we have to find the final temperature at which temperature will the fit be perfect. So this is the initial condition here. So initially the diameter of steel cylinder was equal to 10 centimeter, which means that at that time, at that time the diameter of the aluminum cylinder will be equal to will be equal to 10 centimeter which is the 10 centimeter here so from here from here to here it is 10 centimeter 10 centimeter now for the aluminum piston the diameter would be equal to 10 centimeter minus 0 0.05 millimeter minus 0 0.05 millimeter so it is twice so it is twice of 0 0.05 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.005 so twice of 0 0.005 5 uh, centimeter here so this is equal to 10 centimeter minus uh, it is 0 0.01 centimeter and that's equal to equal to 9.99 centimeter so we have the uh, diameter of the piston is somewhat like this so it's equal let me go for the calculator here so our habits have been slightly spoiled uh, we generally need uh, some calculus calculator to do even the simplest of calculations so it is a uh, 2 into 0 0.005 equal to equal to minus uh, 10 is equal to 9.99 centimeter so this is the diameter of the aluminum piston here now these are the initial dimensions let me say the final temperature is let me say it is theta 2 theta 2 so now what happens here is when it is a tight fit the cross section the cross section of this thing the cross section of the piston and the internal cross section of the cylinder they are equal so what we must have is so when there is when there is there is a tight fit tight fit we have uh, a final a final of uh, this uh, cylinder uh, this uh, steel cylinder should be equal to a final of a final of this 
of this aluminum cylinder which will give us or I can say here pi d <coughs> pi d uh, final of a steel square by 4 should be equal to pi d d aluminum pi d final d final of aluminum square by 4 have or or it is a diameter of a steel uh, 1 plus let me do it like this 1 plus alpha theta 2 minus alpha of this is steel minus a 20 and this a whole square so this should be square and this should also be square equal to diameter of aluminum square 1 plus alpha aluminum theta 2 minus a 20 and this is square here so all of them squares them squares so what i can do, uh, do is uh, if i <coughs> if i take the uh, roots here or even i could have taken the roots over here so it should be equal to or diameter of steel simply 1 plus alpha st theta 2 minus 20 would have been equal to diameter of aluminium aluminium and then 1 plus alpha aluminium theta 2 minus 20 so this is equal to diameter of steel is 10 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus it is alpha steel is equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 theta 2 minus 20 equal to 9.99 will have 1 plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 theta 2 minus 20 here so this will give me if i multiply things here i will have 10 plus 10 plus 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 theta 2 minus 20 is equal to 9.99 plus so let me multiply here let me multiply things here so it should be 9.99 into 1.6 exponent sorry uh, 9.99 into 1.6 exponent minus 5 equal to so it is 1.59 5984 into 10 to the power minus 4 theta 2 minus 20 here now let's go for uh, go for side switches so it's equal to 10 minus 9.99 is equal to is equal to 1.5984 into 10 to the power minus 4 minus 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 then it is theta 2 minus 20 so this will be 0 0.01 is equal to so let's go for the multiplication minus 1.2 exponent exponent minus 4 equal to so this is 3.984 into 10 to the power minus 5 theta 2 minus 20 so we'll have theta 2 minus 20 is equal to 3.984 into 10 to the power minus 5 by 0 0.01 so divided 0 0.01 equal to it will be equal to 0. Point, uh, so uh, sorry I made a, a wrong step here wrong step so what I have to do is is the reciprocal should be here so its value should be equal to 0 0.01 by 3.984 into 10 to the power minus 5 so that's equal to so when you take the reciprocal here is equal to 251 degrees celsius now this gives me theta 2 is equal to 251 plus 20 equal to 271 degrees celsius which is the answer to this question so that means the uh, fit the, the, the arrangement will be a perfect fit at 271 degrees Celsius. Let us note that this has been possible because the aluminum piston whose diameter was less, less it expanded vigorously, vigorously than the steel cylinder whose expansivity is has been less. So more expansivity, more expansion, less expansivity, less expansion. That's why the fit was possible.